Hey, how's it going everyone? This is actually gonna be a really quick video. Somebody was asking about gas caps and vents, um, where to vent them, they weren't quite sure. Um, here's a quick explanation. So this is your gas tank on a motorcycle. You do not have a fuel pump on a carburetor. It is gravity fed. So here's your gas tank, here's your gas cap. We drilled a hole in it, that is gonna be the vent. So. Here comes our gas cap with a vent on it and I've already drilled a hole on the side. This is how your gas tank feeds your carburetor. So here's your tank, here's your cap with your vent. This is your pet cock. If I were to turn my pet cock on and off, my pet cock is my finger for this demonstration. So pet cock on, it's feeding the carburetor. It's filling up the bowl. Here's why we have a vent. There's two reasons why you have a vent. Here's the first reason. If you don't have a vent, as the liquid goes down, which would be your gasoline, you create a vacuum on top. You have no air coming in to displace this area that's getting larger. So your fuel flow will stop. So here we go, feeding the carburetor. If I plug the vent, you see what happens? Basic science. Now what happens right there is your engine's gonna start chugging out. It's gonna start dying, it'll run cruddy. Um, it might turn on, it might turn off. Um, this is why you have a vent. Vented gas tank with a vented cap. A cap with no vent. So if you change your gas tank, you go after market, you use a different cap, a fancy racing cap, that's why they have the vent. Now, I'm gonna get to next, it doesn't matter where the vent goes. This is where people get confused. This is an open cap, you could just have a hole in your cap, it would work. You could have a piece of tube if it was in there, it wouldn't matter. A short tube with a little filter on top, with little check valves. Um, you could have a long tube that goes into the smog device such as a charcoal canister or the intake box of your air cleaner, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you really quick, I have an example of each one. Okay. All right, real quick, here's the DRZ400, the IMS four gallon tank that I put, that you've seen in the video. Here's how you would route a factory vent. Again, I could just pull this off, it doesn't matter, as long as that's vented. I could have a short piece, which I'll show you in a minute. This routes down because it's factory, and basically that goes to the spot that I showed in the video. That tube comes down here, goes in a check valve, it routes back up to the charcoal canister. This is only because from the factory they have to vent it to a charcoal canister or to the intake, so those gas fumes go back into the engine. You cannot release the gas fumes into the atmosphere on a street bike. It's just basically a smog device. But all it is is vented. I could disconnect this and it would make no difference. Okay, here's the next example. This is a 2018 Coolster 125cc dirt bike. This is an off-road bike. It's not a street bike. There's no smog regulations. And you'll see like most dirt bikes, they have the typical short piece of tubing with a little, um, it's basically a filter. A lot of people think that these are one-way check valves. Some bikes they might be, but I seriously doubt it. We'll get into that later. All that is, is just a little piece of cotton inside of there for the fumes. So it's just basically venting. That's all you need. Once again, here's another example. Um, the bike might throw you off, but this is a 2019 Honda CRF 50. I know it is blue, but trust me, it is a Honda. Besides the plastics, this, is, this bike is 100% factory original. Nothing's been done to the engine. This is how they come from the factory. It has a vented cap with a tube that runs down and disappears. Some people might wonder, where does that tube go? Well, here's the mystery. It goes nowhere. All it is is just about a foot piece of tube. They put it down into the head stem and it just hides it. It's basically doing exactly the same thing as that cool stir. It just cleans it up a little bit, makes it look nicer. Exactly the same. Again, it doesn't matter where you vent it to, it just has to be vented. So that pretty much sums it up. I think um, all in all, the short answer that you're looking for is you have an, a Cherby's locking gas cap with a vent. 
but you said it does not have a place for a tube and you are not sure where to vent it, you just seen your answer. You don't need to do anything. As long as that gas cap has a vent on it, it doesn't matter if it's open, it doesn't matter if it has a tube going back into a charcoal canister or an air intake box, it doesn't matter if it has a short tube, it doesn't matter if it has a long tube, none of that matters. All that matters is your gas cap is vented and you're good to go. So don't worry, throw your Cherubis uh, locking vented gas cap on that bike and um, you're good to go, mister. Again, I hope that helps you out. If you need anything else, just let me know.